So in this video here, we're going to talk about the history of computer vision models. We're going to cover all the way from the beginning where we use the classical computer vision algorithms and so on, and also some early models. Then how we're actually using deep learning and now it is actually like transformation from the traditional computer vision models now into AI based machine learning, deep learning based, where we have these convolutional networks, transformers and so on, which is used in large language models. So there's actually like a lot of history behind computer vision models. So let's just dive into it. So if we're talking about the first days and the early beginnings of computer vision, you're probably familiar with OpenCV and so on to have a bunch of functionality for S detection, for example. So that's some of the first algorithms where we're actually like going and take a look at the pixels. So when we're working with classical computer vision methods, they act like just looking at each individual pixel, applying some math and so on on top of it. For example, when we're doing edge detection, we're looking at the gradient. So how big of a change is there in the pixel intensity? And by using that method, applying that math on top of every single pixel and basically just doing that for the whole image, we can go in and find edges. We can go in and do feature extraction point detection and all of those classical computer vision methods. But that is actually like back in the days, we can still use them just because we have these new deep learning AI based models doesn't mean that you can solve specific tasks and so on and also problems with the old classical algorithms, which was actually like used back in the days. Then we start to get into computer vision, combining of the machine learning, for example, with pattern recognition that act like goes way back in time as well. So how can we actually like match different objects, do pattern recognitions? If you, for example, like have one template, how can we match that or find that in another image? So that's also a relatively old algorithm. So all of these things here, like they're basically just coming up. So computer vision goes way back in the days, like these algorithm here, some of the algorithms, the math algorithms and so on is actually like going back to the 1970s and so on, 1980s. They were starting to do the research and actually like getting into computer vision. How can we apply different algorithms on top of images and also basically just images that we get from cameras, individual images images and also video streams. So back in the days, back in the 1970s, 80s and so on, it was very limited with resources. We're applying some basic math on top of the images, sliding it over the image frames and so on. So those are the traditionals where now we're actually like going in, getting these deep learning based neural networks. So we started out with convolutional neural network and now the transform architecture, attention mechanism and all of that is also starting to come into computer vision, but convolutional layers, Convolutional neural networks is very popular. Also what all these YOLO models are based on. So basically just have an image. We take the individual pixels. We throw it through some convolutional layers, which basically just means that we have a filter or basically just an area that we're looking at. Then we're sliding it over our whole image. Then we can downscale that. We can do feature extraction. So instead of like having edge detection algorithms, feature extraction and so on, we then have our networks. So our convolutional neural networks learn these features instead. So in the early stages, it might just learn like features as points, corners, lines, and so on. So some very basic shapes. And then the further we come into convolutional layers, it will start to get more structures. So it could be like, if we, for example, have a car, we will start to get some shapes around the doors, the yeah. wheels, and all of that information. And then we can use like classification heads. And then once we have a feature extractor, we can then apply our prediction heads on top of that. Either if you want to do classification, update detection and so on, which is just outputting these bounding boxes. So then we have these neural networks, which is act like learning by just giving it data. So it is supervised methods where we have the traditional ones where we can just have a single image, apply the method on top of it. But now we have these deep learning approaches where we need to feed it a lot of data so it can act like learn from that. So we have a bunch of different convolutional neural network based vision models like throughout the history. So we have the LeNet from 1989. We have the AlexNet that was a very popular model when it came out. We also have the VGGNet and also the ResNet. The ResNet architecture and the backbone is still used in a bunch of different computer vision models today. It's very good. Basically just makes us able to scale the models to have like deeper connections and so on. So we can have more layers stacked on top of each other because one of the downsides with using AI and machine learning based approaches on images is that we need to process a lot of data. So some of these models here, if they're becoming too big, we lose this real time processing. And in a lot of computer vision applications and projects, this is very critical that we're able to process our videos, our images and so on in real time. So we can actually like apply it on use cases. We also have the YOLO architecture here, bunch of different versions in the YOLO family since then, and it's only going to get 
better. So this is pretty much the history of going from traditional models into more modern architectures with the YOLO models, convolutional based neural networks, where we actually like learn from our data. And now we're also starting to get into transformer world. So computer vision can pretty much be used for anything. The traditional models, we can still use them for something, but the deep learning based models here are very good as long as we have the data. So computer vision can be used for a bunch of different things in various industries. Like we, for example, we have healthcare, we have industrial and so on. Could be that we have different production line factories, conveyor belts running with different objects that we want to track, counting systems, environmental preservation. It can be used for a bunch of different things. And it's very good with these YOLO models that we can just feed the data. We need to label it, feed the model data. It will learn from that. And then we can apply that relatively easy to business use cases. So definitely going to check it out. This is the history of the computer vision models going from traditional models to deep learning based models. And it's only going to be better in the future. So thanks a lot for watching this video here. I hope to see you guys in one of the upcoming videos. Until then, happy learning.